To do a lazy daisy stitch, you're going to bring your needle up through the point, the pointed end of your shape. And then you're going to take your needle and go back down through that same hole that you just came up through. And then at the end of your shape, the curved end right here, before pulling this part down, you want to bring your needle up through the end of the curved end. And then make sure it goes to the inside of this loop here. And don't pull it too tight because you want to make sure that it has that teardrop shape. And then you're going to go just a tiny little bit forward from that hole that you just came out of just to secure the end of that teardrop shape. And again, up through the pointed part of that shape. Back down through the same hole that you just came out of. Leave a loop and bring your needle up through the end of that shape, the curved end, and make sure it comes through the loop. Give it a tiny little tug there, and then one itty bitty stitch forward to secure the end of your stitch. And for making an actual daisy for the flower, you're going to start in the middle of your flower and all we're doing are just a bunch of lazy daisy stitches around this center point. So we came up, bring our needle back through that same point. Make sure you keep a loop above the fabric. Bring your needle up through the end of the petal. Make sure it's coming up through the inside of this loop here. And give it a little tug, just a tiny little tug. And then a tiny stitch forward to secure the end. And then you come back up through that same spot in the middle and you do that over and over again for each of the petals on your flower. And that is how you do a lazy daisy stitch.